welcome to the home of english for english grammar and vocabulary learning in this lesson we shall learn the past perfect tense please watch the earlier lessons and practice like subscribe and press the bell icon to get all notifications of new lessons let's start english grammar tenses the past perfect tense the structure of past perfect tense is subject plus had plus v3 v3 form is the past participle form of the verb see v1 v2 v3 v4 v1 is root form of the verb v2 the past form v3 the past participle form and v4 ing form take the example of verb write v1 is write v2 is wrote that is past form v3 the past participle form is written ing form is writing see the example here we had finished our job before it started raining v plus had plus the past participle of finish that is finished our job the past perfect tense indicates that an action was completed that is finished or perfected at some point in the past before something else happened so we use past perfect tense to use to indicate an earlier action and there is another action which is happened later here we had finished our job before it started raining this is the earlier action and this is the later action see another example she had met him before the party so before the party first action is in past perfect had met met is the past participle of meet the plane had left by the time i got to the airport the plane had left left is the past party participle of leave so this is a first action the plane had already left by the time i got to the airport when i reached that airport the first one is in the the first action is in the past perfect tense remember both simple past and past perfect tense are used to talk about things that happened in the past but we use past perfect to talk about an action that happened before another action in the past it's the same thing we have now discussed when we use the past perfect tense there will be two actions at a time the first action or the earlier action will be in past perfect and the second one will be in simple past the train had left when we reached the station the first action is in past perfect the train plus had plus left left is the past participle of leave when we reached the station we reached is in simple past to show that an action happened before a specific time in the past that is we use the past perfect tense to show that an action happened before a specific time in the past example she had established her company before 2008 so this is a specific time in the past 2008 so before 2008 she had established her company i had fallen asleep before 8 o'clock so another specific time in the past that is 8 o'clock before 8 o'clock itself she had fallen asleep the past perfect tense is used in reported speech direct and indirect speech so in indirect speech also we use the past perfect tense example the teacher asked if we had studied for the exam <coughs> so its direct act, direct speech will be the teacher said did you study for the exam so when we convert to indirect speech it becomes 
the teacher asked if we had studied for the exam. My neighbor asked if we had seen her dog. This is also another indirect speech or reported speech. Again, the past perfect tense is used to indicate that the action mentioned did not take place. So we wanted to do something, but, but it was not fulfilled. So in such cases, we use the past perfect tense. So in this case, we use the verbs such as want, hope, expect, think, suppose, mean, intent. It will be in wanted, I hoped, I expected, thought, supposed, meant, intended, but it was not fulfilled. See the examples. I had wanted to help my brother, but could not help. So I had wanted, but it was not fulfilled. My sister had hoped that I would send her money. Sister hoped that I would send her money, but it was not happened. Third, Mohan had intended to set up his own business. That also a not fulfilled action. Mohan had intended, but it didn't happen. So here ends the session, the past perfect tense. If you like the session, like, subscribe and press the bell button for all notifications and share with your friends. Now there are some questions for you. Try to answer. First one, they dashed the job before the supervisor came. So there are two actions. So evidently the first one will be in uh, the past perfect. So they had completed. They had completed the job before the supervisor came. So first one is in past perfect and the supervisor came, it is symbol past. Second one, the thief had already dash when the police came. The thief had already left when the police came. Two actions, the first one must be in past perfect tense. The thief had already left, had left, left is the past participle form of leave. When the police came, the second action in simple present. Third one, the boy dash his homework before 8 o'clock. There is a specific time in the past before 8 o'clock. The boy had completed his homework. So this answer had completed. The nurse asked whether I had taken or took the medicine yesterday. So this is also a specific time yesterday. The nurse asked whether I had taken, had taken medicine yesterday. Fifth one, Tina dash to reach her office on time, but she could not. This is an expression, expression of hope. She intended to do so, but it was not happened. So in such case also we use the past perfect tense. So Tina had expected to reach her office on time, but she could not. So, here also we use past perfect that is had expected. So, here ends the lesson. See you in the next class. Thank you.